Companies think that restructuring is going to solve their problems because it's been the go-to solution for decades. And everything you read, uh, you know, I'd done research on restructuring or just structuring to see what's out there other than what an approach, the approach we take. But if you think about where matrix management began in the 70s and 80s, right, the restructure solution has just been, well, we need to realign. So let's just move the boxes around on the org chart to create a new alignment. The challenge with restructuring one dimensionally, and that's what that's called when you move the boxes around on the org chart, is your whole assumption is that authorities needed to get things done. And even though most people I talk to realize that they don't have authority and they know that as leaders they have to be able to leave that authority, for some reason the solution to solve operational challenges are to create new alignments in functions and areas. And I think they go to that because they just aren't seeing the horizontal dimension. They know it exists. People know they have it. They just don't know how to shine the light on it. They don't know how to connect people to that dimension in addition to their vertical. Okay. So to understand what typically happens to a company after restructure, it's good to use examples because it's you would be able to see all the common things that happen. One organization I worked with had restructured where they took leaders that used to have everyone report to them and then put them in centralized groups. So for a product leader who needed to drive accountability in their product line, before they could go to their marketing person, their communications person, their designer, their developer, and to them, they had the authority to tell them what to do. Well, after the restructure, that authority now sat in a centralized function, so the product leaders didn't know how to make sure that they got that resource. And it created chaos because they didn't know what to do and they were feeling completely stressed about delivering on their accountability. Another interesting fact is, that happened there was the term leader was only saved in a job description for somebody who had direct reports. So the concern and the anxiety and the disempowerment to people who considered themselves leaders but didn't have the title created such problems there that we needed to really work with them to help them recognize that leadership didn't mean direct reports, that in a matrix it means I need to lead an area, a team, I'm accountable to lead a goal or a strategy. And that really broadens what happens in a matrix to make it much more dimensional than just I lead because I have direct reports. Another example of what happens after restructure is let me talk about what happens during the restructure. One organization had a complete reduction in sales because during the time they were restructuring, nobody was doing their work because they didn't know who they would land up reporting to. So people were just waiting. So they were in this let me wait and see game because if I don't have a job or I don't know who I'm gonna report to, I'll figure it out when I get there, which is just a complete inefficient way for organizations to drive results as well. So those are a couple of things that I've seen happen.